I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Despite not officially deciding the presidential election this week, Americans made it clear that they wanted legal cannabis as five states passed some form of legalization. Arizona, Mississippi, Montana, New Jersey, and South Dakota have all legalized marijuana for adults 21 and older as voters in each state approved their respective ballot initiatives. Now, New Jersey was closely watched as many see this decision as the tipping point for the big market of New York to legalize adult use cannabis. Psychedelic legislation was also a big winner this week in Washington, D.C. The Decriminalization Law Initiative 81 secured enough votes for residents to pass. And the plants and fungi covered by Initiative 81 include psilocybin mushrooms, ayahuasca, iboga, and mescaline containing cacti, which can help those suffering from depression, anxiety, and addiction. Oregon became the first state in the country to legalize psilocybin as voters in the state passed Measure 109. Now that will allow regulated use of psychedelic mushrooms in a therapeutic setting, but they'll have to be stored and administered at licensed facilities. All right, we are just starting to kick off earnings season. This week, GW Pharmaceuticals reported total revenue of $137.1 million for the quarter ending in September. That's a big jump over last year's $91 million for the same time period. This beat the Yahoo Finance Average Analyst Estimate for $127 million in revenue. The market was also cheered that they reported a drop in net losses to $12.2 million. Terrison announced preliminary financial results, results for the third quarter ending in September with net sales of $51 million. That was an 8% increase sequentially and a 90% increase year over year. They didn't say whether they had any net profits or losses. Innovative Industrial Properties reported total revenues of about $34 million for the third quarter ending in September. This was a 197% increase from the prior year's third quarter. Acquisitions continue to happen this week. Afria entered into an agreement to buy SW Brewing Company, which is one of the largest independent craft brewers in the U.S. based on volume. That deal is valued at $300 million. Air Strategies announced it's buying a vertically integrated operation in Arizona, including cultivation and processing facilities and three dispensaries. That deal is valued at $81 million. Grow Generation is adding to its stable. Its latest acquisition is The Grow Biz. And they didn't say how much they were paying for it, but they did say they expect them to deliver 50 million in annual revenues. That deal is expected to close before the fiscal year end. Canopy Growth said this week that it is going to transfer from the New York Stock Exchange to the NASDAQ on November 13th after the market close. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report.